Hello everyone, and welcome back to Save File. Mike here, and I'm going to be doing another reaction video to some music, which is kind of my thing these days. So today I'm going to be doing the new A Day to Remember track, Degenerates. Uh, this is off their upcoming album, which I don't know what it's called because I don't do research before I do these videos. The last track that A Day to Remember released was Rescue Me, which was a collaboration with Marshmallow, which I have to say was pretty good. I like Marshmallow. He's, you know, I think he's kind of a derivative EDM artist, but that's also kind of why people like him so much. It's really accessible. I liked him, well, I don't know. I guess he's really popular now. I don't know what's really popular, but uh, there were a couple tracks he released back with Monster Cat probably years ago i don't know it's been so long but i thought it was a good track and let's be honest a day to remember has always even though they've done the hardcore well hardcore let me do finger quotes there they've done breakdowns a lot and have that heavier tilt they just signed with fueled by ramen records which are much more of a pop punk outfit so I feel like A Day to Remember are probably going to be leaning more in that direction more than they ever have, which might be okay. I don't know. I kind of like the more easy core sound that they have. And um, I don't know. The last album that I really got into with them was What Separates Me From You. The two after that were uh, Common Courtesy and Bad, Vib Bad Vibrations. I never really listened to, uh, I just kind of fell out of being a fan of them, I guess, but there are bands that I like to check in with, and like I said, I'm trying to react to newer things, so I'm going to check this out and see how it goes. By the way, the biggest comparison I always made with A Day to Remember was if New Found Glory did hardcore, which they kind of already do with the International Superheroes of Hardcore side project that they do, so... I don't know, A Day to Remember always had, like, a newfound glory with breakdowns vibe to me. So let's see if that's what this sounds like. Wow, already. That synth or keyboard, I don't know about that. Tend to hurt one another Dividing up all the books by the covers Like it ain't hard enough, simply being me What could I sum you up by what I see? In reality, everyone's a lot more complicated My friends are degenerate is this really the chorus? That hook is garbage. I'm sorry. Uh, it's not that Jeremy has a bad voice. It's just that I don't like that hook at all. The, um keyboards also aren't doing it for me i don't know this is just not something i go for and this is coming from a guy who just left a pop punk band after four years i like pop punk but this is i don't know it's got that heavier bent still it's still got those heavier chords but i'm just not feeling it i don't know let's see how the rest of the song goes i bet it's gonna sound exactly like this and I will be surprised slash impressed if this song has a breakdown.
Well, not a fan of that one. It just seemed very generic cookie cutter pop punk. Uh, despite the little touch of heavier bits, it seemed like something that any other pop punk band would do. Uh, in the past, I would use saying something that Blink-182 does as a compliment, but now, like, if the... If the distortion was lighter, this is something that Blink could have written. That's that's like a hook that Skiba would have done. Not Tom, but Skiba. So modern Blink. And it just, uh, I don't know. A Day to Remember have always been kind of a polarizing band with their fan base because there have always been the dude bros who prefer the heavier side. And then the not dude bros who prefer the poppier side the more melodic side so this will appeal to people that you know prefer that more poppy side of the band but i feel it's going to ostracize the you know the people who come for the chugs and the breakdowns and the hardcore dancing so on one hand i understand what they're doing and especially because i'm sure that their new record label is influencing their sound you know, this is a move that will satisfy some people. And, you know, you can't satisfy everyone. That's something that you always have to understand as an artist. There are always going to be people out there that will just take take poop on you for whatever reason. So, I guess that this that's kind of what they're... They know that. I'll just say that. A Day to Remember have been around for a long time. They know that, and they have to know that this type of sound will piss off people who prefer the heavier side of them. But, you know, this is one song. Maybe the rest of the album will be business as usual, and this was like, hey, it's on by a new label, they've influenced us, this is what we're going to sound like a little bit, but, you know expect business as usual after that i don't know it's hard to say but this was not not my cup of tea not what i would like from a day to remember but as i said i haven't really listened to a day to remember seriously in quite some time so that's my take on it and uh if you like the song hey more power to you i didn't hate it it's it's very hard for me to hate music but what I will commonly say is this is not something that I would come back to. So that's that's where I sit with this one. So let me know what you thought about it. Let me know what you think about A Day to Remember in general. I know there are people that are very passionate about them in one direction or another. So thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube things. I appreciate anything that you do, even if you give me negative feedback. I will take it as constructive criticism as long as there is some in there. If it's just like, lol, you suck, then shit, man, I can't take anything from that. Uh, if you feel so inclined, I would ask that you check out the podcast that my friends and I do. It is a tabletop role-playing game podcast called The Role Less Taken. We are currently using the Weave playset, or system, I guess you could call it. Got it right here. Is it upside down? Weave by the Monocle Society. Uh, we are using their Solar Age playset for our campaign, which we have titled Vagabonds. We are in space doing space-type things with all the space that is available to us. You can find us on Spotify, Google, iTunes, Stitcher, most places where you can find podcasts. We are on there. You can also follow us on the social medias on Facebook and Instagram at The Role Less Taken and on Twitter at Role Less Taken. 
in all instances, role is spelt R-O-L-E, as in an actor's role. Also, we are playing role-playing games, so it makes sense. That's about it. So, once more, thank you for watching. And, as always, I humbly request that you be kind to each other. Damn it. Have a good night, day, whatever time of day it is. Enjoy the rest of it.